The power switch is an essential part of Call of Duty Zombies, but where are the five worst locations of all time? Let's take a look. Hi guys and welcome back to another top 5 zombie video and today we're going to be covering the top 5 worst power locations from World of War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies. Now guys I am currently on the road to 1000 subscribers so if you could help me out and subscribe that would be awesome but with that said let's move on to the list. And coming in at the number 5 spot we have Verrucht from World at War. Now, Verrucht is actually one of my favourite maps of all time. I love the difficulty level, I love everything about it, but the power location has always sort of bugged me, and the reason is because on Verrucht you have the two spawnings, uh, you know, you have the, the side with the Grand and the Springfield, and you have the other side with the uh, Kyanite K and the Gavir, and when you spawn on the uh, American side with the Grand and the, and the Springfield, you have to open up five doors to get to the power. So the first door takes you into the room with the Thompson, the second door takes you into the room with the bar and the trench, and the third door is a door that takes you into Speakola, the fourth door takes you into the kitchen, and the fifth door takes you into the power room. And the reason why this has bugged me is because when you spawn on the other side with the Kyanite K and the Gavir, you've only got to open three doors, so two less doors to get to the power spot. And it's just something which is just... I, I, don't, I don't know why they designed the map like that. You know, you have eight doors in total, not including the one that requires power. And, I, you know, you would have thought they would have put four on one side and four on the other. But, oh no, they've got to have three doors for the German side, but an extra two doors. You have five doors on the American side. So it's just a bit, I don't know, it just seems a bit weird. And it's just, it's, all, it's always bugged me. Not a massive issue, of course, with the Rooks. If you spawn... If you're playing on if you're playing on solo play, you can just keep restarting the game until you get put on to, onto the German side to avoid uh, opening up more doors. But if you're playing with friends or a co-op or whatever, you don't really want to spawn uh, with the Springfield and the Grand. It means you sort of drew, drew the short straw and you've got to open up uh, two more doors. So not a massive issue in terms of the of the entire map. But it's just something that's always just, I don't know, just bugged me and got on my nerves a bit. So I'm going to put Verrucked in at the number five spot. But moving on to the number four spot, we have five. Uh, and the reason why this has made the list is because when I'm playing five, whenever I leave the, the first floor, you know, with the MPL, whenever I leave that sort of floor, I always sort of rush down through the war room and then go straight down to the bottom layer into, into the underground lab. And then I turn on the power because there's no real reason to hang around in the war room. There's not a lot of stuff in there. You know, you've got a couple of war weapons, yeah. But apart from that, there's not a lot. You know, there's not a lot down there. So you tend to sort of leave as soon as you, as you leave the first the first floor. You sort of rush, 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 rush all the way down, and then you sort of go to the underground lab, turn on turn on the power, and then you sort of in the situation where you've not got many points because you spent them all on opening four doors and using two lifts or elevators, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, you haven't really got a very good loadout. You might have an M14 or an MPL or something like that. And you don't really have much ammo left. So then you're sort of stuck down here around five or six or whatever with no money and no ammo and no loadout. But, it, but like, you've got the power on. So what have you achieved? You know what I mean? I, I don't think it's actually the location of the power as such. I think it's more to do with the layout of the map. Um, obviously, five, as I'm sure you guys already know, it's from the campaign um they've obviously implement, uh, implemented it into zombies so it's not really designed to be a zombie map it's designed to be a campaign map uh, so i think the design of the map the layout of the map is sort of what affects uh this power location but uh, i don't know it just seems like every time i play fire let's just open up the debris by the first elevator use elevator come uh, come down into the war room rush 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 get into the get into the second elevator go down turn on the power and then what we've we'll got the ammo left got no points and i'm sort of stuck down here now you know like what do i do so obviously you can play it slower but there's no like i said there's no real reason sitting around in the war room because there's, there's nothing here when when the power's not on there's no reason to hang around in the war room so i think it's more to do with the uh, layout of the map as opposed to the actual location of the power but still i don't know it just always gets on my nerves a bit so it puts in i'm gonna put it in at number four 
Now, sitting in at a number three spot, we have Call of the Dead from Black Ops 1. Now, Call of the Dead, the power location on this map is basically sending you in the complete wrong direction of where you want to be going. So, of course, the power location is on the ship, and the only other thing of any relevance on this side of the map is Juggernaut. But everything else apart from that is over by the by the lighthouse you know your training spot you know your other perch your speaker your stamina up your flopper your dead hot daiquiri everything everything else is over by the lighthouse and it's just such a pain to come over and spend some money and some of your time coming over onto the ship to turn on the power knowing that you're not gonna be on this part of the map again unless you buy juggernaut but once you've got jug and you turn on the power you literally do not come onto the boat ever again there's just no point unless you want to get a mule kick, but if you don't want to get a mule kick, there's no point coming over to uh, the uh, the ship. So yeah, the power location, I don't know, it just seems a bit like annoying because like you know you've got to do it before you do everything else. Like You know you've got to turn on the power before you, before you can buy perks and start training, whatever you want to do. But it's just so annoying because it's sending you on the completely wrong path to what you want to be doing uh, afterwards. So yeah, it's just not the worst map, of course. I do like Call, Call of the Dead. I think overall it's a pretty good map. Obviously, yes, we know George does not need to be on it, <laughs> but overall, I just the power the power spot is just a bit. Yeah, I don't know, but for me, it's just a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna put it in at the number three spot. But moving on to the number two spot, we have Generator Six from Origins on black ops 2 now origins is not my personal favorite map i will admit it yeah i know people probably gonna disagree with me but generator 6 is just so far out the way from everything else and when you're playing on solo and you get the the temper zombies or zombies which come out and you know they start attacking uh the the generators when you're training say i don't know by stamina up or whatever and they start attacking generator 6 you just know that it's going to be such a pain running over here and just you know killing uh, the templar zombies so you just sort of leave them because you know that you're not going to be able to get over there in time because you've got all the mud you've got the robots and the panzer and whatever chasing after you so you sort of just leave them and it's such a dangerous area because it's a dead end like you are fully like trapped if you go up those steps uh, into where that church is if you go into uh, into the area by generator six it's a fully dead end so you are you know basically just trapping yourself in a corner and it's it's just something that's really annoyed me with uh with origins generator one is also quite bad the one at uh, at the spawn room you know when the temple zombies start attacking those two generators it's just so far out of the way you know we we haven't got time <laughs> right we haven't got time to be running around the map just killing these zombies which come out of they always seem to come at the most inconvenient time as well. It's like just when you've got a nice horde trained up and you know, you're getting ready, you know, you're getting some points, and all of a sudden they start attacking the generators. And like, oh, come on, really? I'm not now. And but no, generator six is by far the worst like like location on Origins for a generator. Gen then generator one is also quite bad, like I said. But it's something that just has just bugged me with Origins. Like I said, I don't play it an awful lot. I'm not a massive fan. Um, of of origins, but all the other generators, ge generator two, three, four, five, they're fine. Not a problem uh, with them. But ge yeah, generator six is just a big fat no no from me. But no, not not a fan of it. So it comes in at the number two spot. But slotting yourself in at the number one spot, guys, we have transit from Black Ops Two. Now transit is a very controversial map. A lot of people dislike it, but a lot of people also like it. And for me, I don't mind it. I, you know, I, I don't mind the map, but the power location is just so bizarre. So first of all, you gotta build it, which is fun for like the first five times that you play the game. But after that, it just, it just becomes a very mundane and boring task. Second of all, after you turn on the power, you gotta watch this cutscene of the boss uh, spawning in into the map. And this takes like a good solid 30 seconds until it's over. Now you can actually avoid this if you use the turbine to open up the door um, to the right. But if you don't have a turbine, then you've got to wait for this boring cutscene, which you know happens every single time, but you're sort of forced um, to watch it if you don't have a turbine. And once you are finally allowed out of the room, you go up these steps and oh, guess what? Yeah, the bus has gone. It's just fully left you. So you're now stranded at the power power station by yourself with, with no perks because obviously you just turned on the power so you've got two options you can either wait until the bus comes back around which takes 
what maybe to around 10 or 11 something like that or you can run on to the town obviously you're going to run on to the town that means they got to deal with the denizens we all know how annoying these guys are they are just so irritated they don't want to get started on the denizens so then you've got to run to the town in the fog we can't see anything you've got these little weird creatures running after you and the the entire transit power system is just flawed um it like it was fun for the first like i said few games when the game first came out but after that it just, it just becomes so monotonous and tedious and uh yeah it just i cannot think of any map which has a worse power location or power system i should say uh, than transit so without a doubt i think transit has to come in at our number one spot so guys thank you for watching this video please remember to like and subscribe it does help me out quite a lot and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of your top five worst power locations from world war black ops 1 and black ops 2 zombies also guys just quickly i have created an entire playlist full of different top five zombie lists so if you are interested please make sure they check them out as well so thank you again for watching and we'll be back soon with another video goodbye